Hmm? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, it's recording right now. Alright, hello, good day everyone. Um, so right now I'll just try to show you what these controls are for. Currently you are seeing um, the seconds being displayed incrementing every 1 hertz. Um, so this is this um, seconds and this is the AMPM section. Um, by um, by having the combination 0, 0 for these two switches we could see this, this combination by having 0, 1. We can see the minutes, the hours by having 1, 0. We can see the day, the month and by having 1, 1 we can see the um, yeah. yeah. And by flipping all these three switches, we can see what digits are entered in the keypad. So if I enter 3332, we can actually see 3332 being entered here. Um, these two switches here now control whether we want to display the current time, the alarm 1, alarm 2, or alarm 3. So current time is 00, zero. alarm 1 would be zero 01, alarm 2 would be one zero and alarm three will be one one. By default, all these alarms, when we set as pressed, are set to the zero, um, the 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 zero the zero minute. Well, twelve a.m. Oh. at the first day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let's get into starting the specifications. So first off. We can sort of try to set some milestones by setting the alarms. So first we'll try to set alarm 1. So let's enter the digits here for alarm 1. So let's try to set the, the day mm -hmm. for alarm 1. We we'll set it to be the 31st. Alright, so we enter the digits that we want to set. And then we, we enter 1 since we want to set the day. And we enter 1 again since we want to set alarm 1. By... Okay, so let's see what is being displayed in alarm 1 for the day, right? So by flipping this switch, initiate setting high, that means that the value entered should be registered here and the, the display should blink. So let's see how it goes. So as you can see, it blinks and the day is set to the 31st. Okay, so let's try to set the minutes now, um, not the minutes, the AM, PM, okay? So AM PM stars for PM two since we are setting um, PM oh yeah AM PM and then we set press one, one. since we are setting alarm one. one so let's see if it works as you can see here it changed as it changed to P mm -hmm. great now let's set the hour oh. let's set it to eleven. Um, by pressing 3, we'd be setting the hour, and by pressing 1, we'd be setting alarm 1. So let's see if the hour is being set. 11, as you can see clearly, 11 is set. Now let's set the minute. Let's set it to be the 59th minute. Okay, so the 59th minute, um, 4 for minute, and 1 for the alarm, alarm 1 being set. So let's see. So 11.59 is the time for alarm 1. Let's repeat the procedure, but try to get it to the 28 this time. 11.59, okay? But let's try to set alarm 2, okay? So let's set alarm 2. So let's look at alarm 2 now. Great, so this is alarm 2. Go and drop alarm. Oh gosh, boy, what the hell, dog? Okay, so as I said before, we are, we are trying to set, set it to the 28th of the second month. I mean, yeah, just the 28th. We're not, uh, it's not allowed to set months. Um, so the 28th, 11.59. So as you can see here, we are set to alarm 2, right? Because the combination 1, 0 is entered here, right? Um, so let's see if we can set the day. So remember the day we want to be the 28th. We enter 1 for day. And we enter 2 since we want to set alarm 2. Flip it high. Let's see. So as you can see here, the day is set as the 28. Let's set the AM PM. Set it to PM. Um, then we enter 2. And then we enter 2 again. Since we want to set to 
they set the alarm, right? So let's see if we get the alarm. Great. So it's two. Great. Now let's repeat the procedure and do it for the hours. 11, um, 3, 2. Um, let's see if we getting the, the um, hour. 11, 3, 2. 11 is set. Great. And now let's set the minute, the 59th minute. Oops. 59th minute. 4 since we set a minute and 2 since we want to set that alarm, right? Okay, great. So that's it. And um, let's see if the minutes are set. Great. So the minutes are set. There. Now, excellent. So now let's take out the initiate settings. And so we have the alarm 1 and alarm 2 being set. Now, if you would like to look at alarm 3, alarm 3, let's left it at the default value and see what happens there. So if, it, if we leave it at the default value, which is the first minute, um, the zero minute, 12 a.m., first, the first day, so it means that when you transition into a new month, this alarm should sound for one minute, right? Okay, cool. So let's get into setting some current times, okay? Mm -hmm. So currently we are in the first day in the first month as you can recall. So let's try to set it to the 31st day, right? Okay, cool. So we go into the first, then we press 1 if we want to enter the day, and then we press 4 if we want to set the current time. Okay? So let's look at the day, see if it goes. As you can see, clearly it changed to the 31st. Right. Now let's set EM PM, set it to PM, and enter 2 since we want to set EM PM, and 4 since we want to set the current time. As you can see clearly here, it changes to PM. Alright, um, now let's set um, minutes, minutes um, the hours. hours yeah. So it's 11, and then 3, then 4. Um, hours would be here. Clearly it has changed. And now minutes. So set it to 58, right? 58, so it'd be 4, 4. And yeah, hmm. all right, so let's see if we get it. So it'd be 58. Now, according to the setting, as soon as we reach um, 59 on the 31st month, the alarm should sound, okay? So let's see. If we re when we reach 11:59, if the alarm would sound. Second. Okay, so these are the seconds. Mm -hmm. and right. So as you can clearly hear, the buzzer is sounding, and if you can look here, it's 11:59. In the, at the thirty first p.m. eleven p.m. Um, yeah, eleven p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this alarm should go on for one minute since the conditions really for the alarm would be from minutes to days. Okay. Cool. Right. So if we wait until this finishes you would actually notice that the alarm would continue to go on since if you could recall for alarm 3 the default value was set to the first day yeah yes to the first day first day um, the 12th hour a.m. at the zero minute okay mm. so let's see if it continues um, yeah so it actually continues when it reached the mm -hmm. second month. Okay, great. So now let's try to get this down to test the the next alarm, which was alarm two. So let's set it to the twenty-eight now. So okay, so enter the twenty-eight. Um, the twenty-eight, but we want to set current time. Current. So we have to enter one for day and four for current time. So let's see, it changed to the 28, and if you notice, the alarm just went off. 
since the time has changed. Great. So now let's set the what the PM. So we enter P, we enter 2 since we want to set the PM, and we enter 4. And PM has changed. Um, now we enter the 11th hour. Um, enter 2, I mean 3, for setting hours, and we enter 4 for setting the current time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we, right, is this here? So, as you can see, and now we want to set the minute, so we want to set the 59th, that's actually 58 minutes, and now we enter 4, since we want to set the minute, and 4 again, since we want to set the current time. So, let's look at the minute. Alright, so it's a 58 minute. So, look at the time here. You can see we had 11.58. Um, so, when it transitions to the next time, which is 11.59, the alarm should sound. So, it's alarm 2. As you can recall, it was set to 11.59 on 28th day. Okay? So, let's see if it happens. Excellent. So as you can see clearly, the buzzer has sound for that time. So we have just verified um, the buzzing, the blinker. Um, we also we also verified the alarm setting capabilities and the current time setting capabilities for all the required times. Now, if you notice. When the when we transition from the eleven fifty nine minute to the next day, right? Um, it should be it should transition to the third month since we are in a non leap year. So let's see if this actually occurs. Um, yeah, so let's see if it actually occurs. As you can recall, if the as it changes, the alarm should continue since the alarm tree is set to this value as well. So let's see. It is in the third month, the first day at 2017. So this is the first half of testing the leap year algorithm. Okay. So in order to test the next half, we'd have to set the time the year year to a non leap year I mean actual leap year which we will try to set it to 2016 so we'll do that in code right so if you come over here we will just simply just change this value to zero and save and come here and generate programming file Could I stop recording? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if you want to stop recording. You could stop recording. Just loading the bit file. Alright. Uh, we're clicking program. Uh huh. And it has been programmed. As you can hear, the buzzer, buzzer is on since all the default values are set. Right? And all the alarms are actually reset since um, this has taken place. So, as you can see, we are in 2016. So let's just get to, um, getting it to the 31st, I mean the, the second month, the 28th day. So let's go. So we go 31st, 1, 4, then we go PM, 2, 4, then we go 11, 3, 4, then we go 59, um, 4 4. We just wait until it transfers to the next month. So we yeah, have 48, 49, 50, 51. So we'll just wait until they go to the second month. You would hear another alarm. Yeah. Great. Excellent. So we're in the second month. So let's get into setting it to um, the. Scroll back again. 28 day. 28 day. One, four. Then we want to set eleven. No, PM. Two, four. 
and we the one that set um the I was I was three four and when I set the minutes fifty nine four four all right great so let's see we are on twenty eighty and the minutes here so since we are on a leap year. 2016, we should expect that when the final minute is transitioned, well, the final second is transitioned, we go to the 29th instead of the the first of the third month. Okay, so let's wait and see. 59. Ah, as you can see here clearly, it has been it has transitioned to the 29th. So clearly, the leap year algorithm has worked. Um, so we have crossed out yet another specification. Now, we have you have noticed that we, in order to fully test the the full specification, we'd actually have to accelerate the clock in order to see, for example, months transitioning, days transitioning. But you have seen um, when these alarms are set, the clock actually behaves as it should. Okay. And so that's the end of the presentation, and to, unless if you want to actually see an accelerated clock. Okay. Okay, so right now we are going to program this thing at a clock frequency of 100,000 hertz in order to try to attempt to see the, the, um, the months transitioning for the corresponding day and the year as well. Okay, so we're going to click program. Yes. Right, so as you can see here, the days are being, not the days, yes, the days are being incremented, and the month is here, so we are just waiting, so the first month should be 31 days, so let's see if that goes to 31, great, now let's see the okay, that's second month, which we are in. 2016, so it's a transition on the 28th day. 29th. I mean the 29th day. Alright, my bad, I'm sorry. Alright. Did it? Excellent. So we're on the 3rd month now. It's a transition on the 31st day. I'm looking at a calendar right now. <laughs> yeah. I guess we can speed up this one. Yeah. All right, great. So now we're on the the next month, which is April. We should transition after the thirty thirty up. Day. Me, we should transition after the 31st. Mm -hmm. Great, now we are in June, we should transition after the 30th. Now we're in July, so transition after the 31st.
Great. Now we are in August. It's the transition time for the chili pizza as well. Now we are in September and it shall transition after the tooth yacht. Great. Yeah. October should be the 31st. November should be the TTR. They should come and switch it to years on the, the um when 12 go to 1, right? Yeah. So. I don't know. It's still, yeah, still in 2016, if you notice. Um, great. Now we are in December. It's a transition on the 31st. And when it transitions in 31st, 31st month, we check the year after, right? So currently we are in 2016. Just waiting to see. Thirty first, great. So the transition thirty first, and as you can see clearly, the year has been incremented. So this test is successful. <laughs>